So I bought this today thinking that I had never tried it, but Royale is literally Fanta, but they call it Royale True here in the Philippines. And honestly, it, it, it tastes the same. But I am here in the Philippines for two reasons. Number one, to see the culture and see what it's like here. And then number two, to check out this hostel, Abraham Hostel here in Makati, Philippines, which it's in the Manila metropolitan area. <laughs> Good afternoon. Are you for check-in? Yes. 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 Um, what name is your reservation? Um, Davion. Oh, or I will check it in. Here's your room key, sir. It's 404, located on the fourth floor. Then your Wi-Fi password. So what do I do with this? Just tap it on the door, oh, sir. Cool. Wait, hold up. This is kind of nice and comfy. They have a couch here. On every floor, whenever you leave the elevator, there is nice couches for a lounge area, a bean bag. Oh. Hold up. Do I have my own bathroom in here? Do I have my own bathroom in shower? Hold up. Wow, I get my own bathroom, sink, nice toilet. And then the shower. What is a hostel and why would you want to stay in a hostel? So according to Wikipedia, a hostel is a form of low cost, short term shared sociable lodging where guests can rent a bed, usually a bunk bed in a dormitory, in dormitory with, shared use of with shared use of lounge and sometimes a kitchen. I am in a private room right now with my own bed, my own shower, my own toilet. And I promise y'all, the bed looked a lot better, but I checked in yesterday. This, yeah. Th Anyways. At this point in the story, y'all are probably wondering who are these two guys? So the guy on the left is an Australian and American guy, and the guy on the right is from Albania, and they just asked me if I wanted to get lunch with them. Let's, let's get back to the story. What's the villa? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's the top two lot. Then I, I want this. Okay, well, what's inside the rice? It's the, what do you call that? Garlic, not? No, the garlic. I don't like the garlic in the rice. No, so only rice. So whenever you go to another country, you gotta make sure that you don't just go to McDonald's. You don't just go to some huge restaurant. You wanna come to that, that mom and pop kind of shop. So like, we're out here seeing what they're cooking up. And it smells really good. This is my beef tapa. Your beef tapa? Yeah. So you're here for vacation? So I'm traveling all over the world, trying to go to every country, oh. be the youngest black male to see every country. So that's the plan. I'll be back though, because I want to come here for two months and just see every island for the most part and try to make a huge video. So you're going to Boracay? I, I just got back from Boracay. Oh. Uh, hello, sir. Can I get a menu? Because I'm hungry, I want to have some more. Okay. Okay. This is one of the best things you can do. Get food with strangers that you literally met from the hostel. Albania, America, a lot of different places. Yeah. But let's see if it's good. It's three for 100, sir. It's three for 100? Yes. What's the, be what's, what's the, the best one? Uh, both are best that's why i sell it because this is delicious it's really good okay if it's not delicious i'm gonna come find you and i'm pushing <laughs> the video and say no she was problem, not telling sir. the truth hi everyone <laughs> hello guys <laughs> one of the main reasons why i love staying in a hostel is that i can get lunch and dinner with random people that are staying in my room like i just met this guy who's from albania so the guy who's from america and also lives in australia and we talked about their countries we talked about war we talked about what's it like just 
living there. And that's, that's the thing about when you travel the world, staying in a hostel can provide you with other cultures, even if you're not in that country. Let's talk breakfast here at this hostel. This is not a buffet breakfast. This is a breakfast you get to choose. So I got an omelet, some toast, some sausages, some beans, and some tater tots. It was 350 pesos, so about six US dollars. And just the fact that you can eat on a balcony, you can see the city, you can see the, the scooters roll by, it's just the crazy traffic. It's just very blissful. It gives you, it gives me cafe vibes. The chef knew what he was doing with these omelets. Tater tots. Oh. It tastes like a real potato. Like, I know it sounds crazy, but I feel like a lot of times tater tots are just so fried, but this, this is good. Here at a hostel, if you don't want to stay in a room with four, six, eight people, they also do offer private rooms. So this is actually the smallest private room they offer. So two different people can sleep here. It comes with a TV, you have an AC unit, and if you want to come as you are, you can come as you are. And then you get a sink, toilet, a mirror, and a nice shower. Let's, let's actually look at the shower. Nice and clean. A lot of times when you're in a hostel, the showers are not clean, but this place, like, newly renovated and it's definitely clean. One of the great things I really just love about hostels is just meeting random people from different countries. So I gotta get a, a shout out to these guys right here. Where are y'all from? Canada, Toronto. Oh, okay, okay, Toronto. okay. Why are y'all staying in a hostel? Cheaper. Cheaper, how much are you paying a night here? Like, yeah, $6.50, which is probably like $4, $6. For a night? Just $10. If you're, say, if you're saying you cannot travel, just stop going to Starbucks and buying a cup of coffee every single day. Six, seven dollars a night, like. If you still want to save money by staying at a hostel, but you don't want to room in a random room with seven other random people, you can book this private room that has four beds for you and your family, for you and your friends. You get a plug, you get two USBs, the light switch, touch screen. You get your own curtain if you want to close it for your privacy. A nice modern shower, your own toilet. And the light, it's touch sensitive. Every time people say, why are you staying at a hostel? Like, that's gross. I don't want to be around other people. This room right here might change your mind. So. There's three bunk beds in here, so a total of six beds. One, two, bean bag, nice size chair, huge mirror, two more beds, two more beds, AC controlled, and just look at this massive TV. You could get this room for you and your friends, your family, and you guys would be sitting comfortably and still saving a lot of money. Let's check out the bathroom. And of course you do get your own bathroom. So right now we're in their last room option, which is the dormitory room option, mixed dorm, eight people can sleep in here. And it's just crazy to think that when you stay in a hostel in a room, when you stay in a room like this, you get to meet people from all over the world, Canada, the Philippines, South Korea, and connect with them and just truly be human beings. For $11 a night, yeah. You guys heard me right, $11 a night. First though, we need to cover some rules when you're staying in a hostel with other people in the room. So. If you see this, their curtains closed, that's their privacy. That's them locking the door and saying they do not want to be bothered. If you see the curtains open, that means you can talk to them, you can introduce yourself and... And normally when I'm in a hostel and I'm trying to meet new people, make new friends, I always start off by saying, hey, I'm Davion, I'm from Dallas, Texas, I'm a YouTuber, I, I make videos for a living, and then I ask them, where are you from? And a lot of times they'll tell me where they're from because a lot of people who are traveling and staying in hostels are solo travelers or they, they're like-minded people and they just want to meet other people. You're not going to stay in a hostel with random people for the most part if you don't want to meet someone at least. Whenever you are staying in a room with random strangers though, make sure you bring a lock. Make sure you stay at a hostel that has somewhere to put the lock. You can literally open up that locker, that cabinet, and put your luggage all of your things that you just want to protect from other people. There's also a USB charger in here if you want to charge your electronics. Make sure you close it, latch it, and then put your lock. These are very important in hostels. Every floor in this hostel, there is some quote that's just amazing. 
let's wander where there is no Wi-Fi. I love it. A breath of fresh air is all you need. Facts. What cocktail should I get? Should I be basic? Should I get a margarita, pina colada? What's, what's the best thing here? Okay, she was not lying. This drink is actually fire. Well, gotta do another double take. Okay, yeah, she knows exactly what she's talking about. If you wanna know what's in this drink, just, just comment in the video.